Do I need a website for my business? Man, if that is the question that is on your mind, then you are definitely in the right spot. You know, a lot of times business owners and entrepreneurs think that having something maybe like a Facebook page or maybe a business page on LinkedIn or something similar is going to be good enough. But what's missing here is something that is absolutely vital for you and for your business. It boils down to a single word and that single word is control. So here, let's you and I, let's dig in and find out why you need a website for your business. What's going on? If this is your first time here, I am Jeff from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow, then as I say, you are in the right spot. Now, you don't need me to tell you that business is complex. Business is overwhelming. It is difficult to know where to go, what to do, how to get started, how to keep the momentum going. So to help you along, what we need is we got to get you on the right track. And this is what your online business jumpstart guide is all about. This is a completely free, easy to follow. I even made it printable for you, a PDF guide that gives you a solid blueprint and a solid foundation for you and for your online business. Here, you're going to get a set of step-by-step -step insider ingredients to guide you through what you need to really get moving with your business. And it's packed with powerful resources and tools for you. Go and grab your free guide right now while it's still available, while you can, over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. You don't want to miss it. Next though, we got to answer this question, this question which is stated as, <laughs> do I need a website for my business? Man, the short answer is yes. Every business, large, small, I don't care what the business does, what market it serves, the size of the business, the number of employees, no matter what kind of business you're in, you have to have a website. It's the 21st century. Every small business should have a website. Even businesses like, uh, I don't know, uh, auto mechanics, hair salons, you know, those little kiosks in the mall or delis, daycares, you name it. Every single business must have a website, even if it's something simple and basic. Why? Because again, man, look at a calendar. It's the 21st century. Every day, potential customers, what do they do? What do your potential customers do every single day? They pull out their phone and they search. They search for businesses near them. They search for businesses that can sell them what they need. They're searching for a specific business's hours. They're searching for a fast fix to a problem that they have right now that they want to fix right now. And they're going to search online to get what they want. Now, all that said, a small business website doesn't have to be complex. In fact, a small business website can be very, very simple and basic. In its simplest form, a small business website could just be a simple single page with basic information about the business. In terms of what information to include, even if it's a simple website, I go back to what was it, grade nine English, who, what, when, where, why, and how. So, Make sure to include information like who the business is, the products and services that they offer, their hours of operation, their contact information. None of this stuff is difficult. It's dead simple. Now, more complex businesses, especially online businesses, would obviously need more than just what I've kind of rattled off here, but every business should have at least basic information available under their own domain name. That is specifically a domain name and a website that you own and control. Not under Facebook's control, not under LinkedIn's control, not under anyone else's control, your control. You've got to control your business online. Now, next, let's discuss in more detail exactly what you must include on your business website at a minimum. We'll get to that in just a second. Next, though, let's take the next big steps forward and really get a handle on what you need to build your business website. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash web. Now, what you'll discover there is a business website masterclass. This is a completely free and self-paced online workshop. There, what we're going to do is we're going to crush three of the biggest myths about web design and running your online business and your business's website. We'll get to the clear, unvarnished, straight truth. You'll find out how to avoid the biggest pitfalls and mistakes and wrong turns that most newbies make. 
and you'll get a set of clear, actionable steps to move forward. You'll also learn about the best tools and services and platforms to build your website. I promise no PhD required. You'll definitely want to bring a notepad. This workshop is packed with info. Next though, we've got to get more detailed on exactly what you must include at a minimum on your business website. And let me start this tirade by asking you this, what sorts of basic things would your customers want to know about your business and whatever it is that you do? Well, how about things like how late is your coffee shop open? What's on the menu? How late are you open this Sunday? Uh, how can I phone you or email your business to ask a specific question? How much does enrollment in your upcoming program cost? Where's your calendar of upcoming events? What's your business's refund policy? Man, these are all basic, simple, straightforward questions that potential customers are going to have. And your small business website should be able to answer these sorts of simple, basic questions very quickly. Remember from grade nine, who, what, when, where, why, and how. This is because most business websites make even the simplest information difficult and even frustrating to find. I know you've been there. I was there yesterday when I was trying to find out how late a local record store is open this weekend. I had to wind up phoning. Man, this is so frustrating. Now, another important point that you need to know. The actual effort and the cost to set up a basic website under a domain name that you own, I'm sure you're wondering about costs, expenses. Well, it's all very reasonable. In fact, it isn't really expensive at all. Here, I'm talking about like less than $200 a year. So I hope this goes a long way to answering the question, do you need a website for your business? Now, next, let's get you moving in your business website masterclass. Once again, over at 10tononline.com forward slash web, bring that notepad. I'll see you there in just a second.